Hey everyone, welcome to the Transformer Vault. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you an amazing, spectacular figure review your way here on YouTube land. You guys are lucky, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to squeeze this into the 100 uh, figure reviews that I'm going to be posting right up till Sunday before I kind of take a breather or step back from doing these figure reviews or if I ever come back. But either way, you guys have 100 videos at the end of it come September 20th, which is a Sunday, to enjoy all the figure reviews that I've posted, Marvel Legends, Transformers, Power Rangers, whatever I can get my hands on to physically bring your way. So I'm glad one of my pre-orders came in, which I'm happy about because that means you're going to get a mixture of some old and new right till the end. So what the hell am I blabbing about, guys? I'm blabbing about this figure. Marvel Legends X-Men movie, Wolverine, and it's Hugh Jackman in all his glory. Check that out, guys. If that doesn't scream Hugh Jackman, I don't know what will. Here's the box art, just like all these others. I had a pre-order, guys, with his uh, brown leather jacket, but by the time that shows up, it might not be never. And I go, you know what? This is an Amazon exclusive, so I go, I can get my hands on it and get here quicker than I'm going to do so. And you know what? Quite honestly, this might do the trick for me. I might not even get the other one, but you know me. If it does arrive, I'll probably keep it and add it to my collection and not sell it. But for the most part, I got my Hugh Jackman Wolverine. And honest to God, it looks pretty cool. The accessory is pretty cool. You got the bone claws and the metal claws. So it's either from, this figure is probably based on either X2, 3, or the Wolverine or X-Men Origins. But you can fit in anything because that's what he looked like. The hair is there and everything. So like always, I'm going to stop blabbing. I want to open this guy up and see what we get guys so let's open them up i got my movie figure so i'm happy about it so let's carefully open this up because you don't want to damage it in any way so this goes through here yeah okay so it goes up let's pull them out so it's pretty cool oh yeah i'll show you guys uh here's the packaging so pretty much you get a yellow x guys which is cool standard and here's Wolverine. So this is Hugh Jackman. Just so you guys see what he looks like in the clamshell. Check that out, guys. The other head sculpt, I'm not going to remove it, guys. I'm not going to pop them in there. I, even the claws, I'll think about it. I might put the metal ones on just because, but there you go. He looks good, man. He looks freaking good. I say that now, but I'll probably end up removing him. But, uh, oh, yeah, he looks good. Like, that serious look. Yeah, the feral head, I'm just going to leave it there. I won't bother because the better one's on the figure itself. So, like always, give me one quick second and I'll pop this figure out so we can see him in his entirety and his glory. All right, guys, here he is in his glory. Holy crap. That is Hugh Jackman to the max. Holy crap. Look at the back, guys. That doesn't say, uh, say Hugh Jackman. I don't know what will. You can see the details in his denim jeans, his boots, his bone claws, guys. Check that out. That looks sick. His dog tags doesn't say Logan or anything on it. It does. It is removable as far as I know. When you pop his head up or you can just take it out without. See? You can get without. So let me show you the – let me just put him down here so you guys can see him in his glory. So let him stay there. This is his dog tags. I don't know if you guys can see that, but not too much, but for the most part, it's pretty cool. Now, let me show you one of his metal claws, okay? So this is his metal claws, and his claws look phenomenal. Look at that, guys. You can see from the side. Look at that. Come on. That looks cool. You know, and I'll, like always, you guys know you can pop off uh, one. I'll take one out just so we can see what he looks like on him. But, oh, my God, it looks good. I just don't want to break him, man. I'm afraid to take it out, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Um, let's see. There you go. Holy crap. It's in there good and tight. There you go. So if you guys wanted to see what he looks like with his metal claws, look at that, guys. Come on. How cool is that? And he, you can see the joints. He does have that 
I want to call it butterfly joints that he can go backwards and kind of do this, like, you know, how he's charging people like that. His head does not go up and down. He does have pinless elbows, which is pretty cool, but not on his legs. It does articulate. He does bend forward with his crunch. The undershirt itself is detailed. It has ribs and it's kind of dirty here. I'm just going to go like this. I wish he had fists that you can have one claw out and whatever, but I don't know if you guys can catch the uh, ribbing in the middle and it's a little bit dirty compared to the back. The Indian Chief uh, belt buckle because he is Canadian, which is glad. I'm glad this is my uh, 98th figure review. So you guys are lucky. I didn't think I was going to get him on time, but I'm loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All I can say is if you can get your hands on them on Amazon, grab them. Like, I think, you know what? I might pass on the uh, leather jacket, but if I can get my hands on it for a good price still, I think I'm going to get them in. But for the most part, I'm happy. Metal claws or bone claws, either one, it looks good, man. Like, honest to God, like, if that doesn't scream Hugh Jackman to you guys here, look at that. That's Logan, guys. 100%. Let's put his dog tags on because he deserves his uh, dog tags to be on there. But, yeah, you can remove it, whatever you want. You can put the other head. But the other head is a good head sculpt, but it doesn't quite look like him. Uh, the detailing in his hair is cool. Like, it has the flare-up. So, I don't know. There you go, guys. So Here is a close-up of the Hugh Jackman figure, guys. I had to do this. I couldn't actually leave you guys and not see... How good this figure looks, man. Look at that. Bone claws, metal boots. Like, check those bone claws out, man. Look at that. If that doesn't speak Hugh Jackman Wolverine, look, look at it. They're so detailed. It's not funny. There's a side profile. That's Hugh Jackman. Now let's get on the metal side because this is what we got to do here, guys. Let's get the metal. So this is what you're looking at right here. And then there's the metal claws. Look at that. That is cool, man. Wow. Good job, Hasbro. So that is my Wolverine X-Men 2000, 2001, 2, whatever it is, X2. Wolverine figure review. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Keep on following, guys. I don't know if this is going to be a forever thing like I've been mentioning for the billionth time. It'll be for the next little while. I don't know. We'll see how this all goes. You might even see me back here next year. You never know. I never say never, you know. If figures are like this and I can get my hands on it, then you know what? Don't be surprised that eventually I'll be back doing these figure reviews. It might be a different format, but hey, it'll be back in one way or another if I decide to do so. If not, just follow me on my other channels, guys. You know where to find me, the Movie Vault, which is growing, Degenerate Sessions Wrestling. And of course, check out my other videos. There'll be 100 videos by this Sunday, September 20th. So at least you can see what figures I've added to my personal collection. You guys can make that educated guess for yourselves. So... Like Logan and Wolverine would say, let's get the hell out of here, bub. It's time to go. Stay off my throne. Pick up this damn figure. Cost 40 bucks on Amazon. Worth every single penny. So until then, be the hell good.